we drove a whole 15, 20 minutes and arrived at Cliff Head. Um, it's a low cost camp um, and it's like there's rangers that manage it um, but it's not national park so you can have your dogs but need to be on lead. Um, there's three sections to it though. There's north which I believe is four drive access only, the main one and then there's south. We've chosen to come to south um, just because it was a little bit more protected from the wind here for the weather at the moment um, and it's really nice. So it's $20 per vehicle per night. Um, you can pay in a like, cash box at the front or when the rangers come around each afternoon you can pay by Eftpos. Um, lots of different sites to choose from and as you can see we've got water views. I'll show you the camp. And that's our water view behind us there. Um, we also parked up near a tyre swing which will be good for Aria and the toilet block as well. There's rubbish um, bins here as well so you can um, pop your rubbish in but you've got to bring all your water with you. Um, I think that's about it really. We're just going to chill here. But it's been um, actually not too bad today wind wise since we've been here which is good. Um, so hopefully it's like this or even better for the next couple of days. What have we made? Um, a blurry set up in the middle. Um, a sand couch. Sand couch? Sand with a bar couch. pit? Yep. Yep, who gets to enjoy it? Hello? Who's enjoying the sand couch and fire pit? My blue couch. Yeah. Got every one of them almost, right? Yep. Yep. All um, there to enjoy. That's true, Bandit. Lucas, Bandit. Coco, muffins, bingo, rusting, and Snickers and Bluey. Yeah, good job. <laughs> and we made our sound couch with our sand couch. Yeah, we wanted to make a castle, didn't we? Yeah. Work out. <laughs> yeah, so we, just, it's so we improvised. Good job. What's cooking? Good looking? Are you talking to me? Oh no. Are you what's cooking? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could smell it. Sorry, it's very loud. I'm making butter chicken. Butter chicken!
Carrier? Yeah. What is it? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sauce? Um, tomato sauce. With what in it? Um, sausage. Yep. Any herbs? Um, some basil. Yeah, what else did we put in? Parmesan. Yep. Rabbit olive. <laughs> <laughs> Onion and garlic. Onion and garlic. Salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we cooked the ravioli, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Then we put it in. Mm-hmm. We put some fresh basil on top. Mm-hmm. And some more parmesan. Mm-hmm. Delish. Is it good? Yep. How good? Real good. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that crab run into the water? Classic me. <laughs> I was walking outside to uh, take the fuse out of the diesel heater because it keeps going on and off randomly. And I walked into the window that was out. Our window is like, yeah, out. So walked straight into it and I've cut my head reasonably badly somewhere up there in the hair. 
Uh, it's bleeding quite a lot. <laughs> well, it seems to have stabilized a little bit. It's not pouring out at the moment. Uh, yeah, so called the medical center nearby. They're about 15 minutes away. We're just going to go over and see if we need some stitches or something. Uh, I said I still need to do a rat test before they'll let me in the building. Even though I'm like, I've literally got a pile of like bloody paper towel on my head because I'm bleeding out of it badly. She's like, yeah, you still got to wait outside until we do a rat test on you. Alrighty, it's that time of year again, isn't it, Aria? Yeah. What's happening? I'm making my birthday cake. Yeah. It's Aria's fifth birthday in a couple of days, so we are preparing early and we are beginning her cake. Um, we are making a white chocolate mud cake, uh, pretty much what we did last year as well, because it's really, really easy. Really easy, and it's like a one pot wonder. So, butter, sugar, white chocolate, milk, milk in here, melt, mix it all together, and then you add flour, eggs, vanilla, ta da, done. So, I'll show you that in a minute. try the air fryer this year. Last year I did it on the barbecue. I know the barbecue works, but I'm going to try the air fryer. If it doesn't work, oh well, too bad. <laughs> uh. What are you doing? Where are you going? We are going to go for a scoot along the road and I'm going to see if I can find my son that I lost and go to the lookout. Point oh, something. That's it. <laughs> Point cool. blue. I shall. Spectacular I'll show you in a cycle because... Hidden gem. Hidden gem. Very surprising for us. Yeah, there's a pathway down that you can go down to the bay. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go snorkeling. People are out there surfing as well, so. Yeah. Man's gonna bring the paddleboard. See how the conditions. Fingers crossed they stay the same. Yeah. Why? Because I'm four and now I'm five. Because <laughs> it's your birthday. Yeah. All 
Alrighty, that brings us to the end of Milligan Island Camp. Um, it's $20 a night here, cash only. So just make sure you bring your cash um, and pay at Site 33. There's a camp post there. Um, there's also the envelopes to fill in and the drop box if they're not there. Um, they do come around each morning and afternoon um, and checking if you don't get a chance to, to do that um, and pay cash and they'll um, fix you up, sort you out then. Um, there's also a three-day limit or three-night limit. Um, however, if you need to stay an extra, which we did, we end up doing four uh, because of Ari's birthday, just so we didn't have to move and things. Um, you can pre-organize that. It's it's by um, kind of organization. So sometimes they might be able to if it's not a long weekend or school holidays and things. Um, if you ask about it, they will check in with a ranger, um, and the ranger is the one that's by their discretion um, as to whether you can um, stay or not. Um, there's so much to do here. It's actually a really nice spot and it's kind of protected from the southern um, westerly winds because of the dunes and things as well. So um, we didn't have went too bad of wind, um, which was nice. And uh, yeah, anyway, recommend this one on the way down to Perth. We are heading a bit further south. Not sure where we'll get up to, but if there's anything you need to know. Oh, it's dog friendly here too. <laughs> um, no water, do, um, drop toilets, uh, and there is a rubbish bin. I think that's everything now. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else you need to know, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. We'll see you a bit further south. through a little envelope when you get to the info centre um, station, sorry. Um, there's rubbish bins and there's toilets, but only in the other section. So when you get, I have to show you the drive out because I didn't film driving in because of the rain. Um, but you come in, you get to a Tina section, there's south and there's north. Um, actual campground bays with toilets, rubbish bins, all those sorts of things, camp posts and stuff. If you keep going past north, keep going down a track, it is a four drivey track, you do come up to an extra section right near the beach here where it's like kind of pick your own spot, um, little kind of feels like you're a free camping in the middle of nowhere kind of spot rather than a campgroundy sort of area. Um, we suggest that because it's heaps quieter and um, you get water views whereas the other ones are behind the dunes. So um, that's what we reckon if you're a suitable uh, vehicle. Um, can go the road which I'll show you on the way out um, can get there definitely definitely do that um, yeah anyway we're gonna have a quick wander around and now that it's sunny and, um, see what the place is about oh, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I 